I'm learning with Marcus, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite languages. Now, it's kind of hard for me to specifically tell you what my favorite languages are, but I've come up with three, so let's get right to it. So my first lang favorite language is Portuguese. As you probably know from my other languages, uh, other language videos, I started to learn Portuguese as my first language, and I think it has some type of sentimental value in my mind, but I really like the way it sounds, because it sounds a lot like Portuguese, or it looks a lot like Portuguese, but it sounds are very different from a lot of languages. And I like how it's one big melting pot for a ton of Latin languages, like French, Italian, and Spanish. And it has its own unique pronunciations that they don't share with any other language. And this is Brazilian Portuguese. I don't speak Portugal Portuguese. I speak Brazilian Portuguese. So that's why I really like Portuguese because it was my first language that I started to learn. So yeah. My next favorite language is Mandarin. Now, Mandarin is one of the more difficult languages to learn, if not the most difficult language to learn, but I really like this language. First off, it sounds so different than a lot of other languages, and it has some really interesting tones, which I think makes it a lot different from any other language that I've learned. Especially a lot of the Latin-based languages, they of course don't have tones, and Mandarin is so unique in that facet. Also, with the writing, I find it so interesting, all of the characters, up to 20,000, which I think is so crazy, but I find that that's really interesting in how they really express the character by how the word looks, like the object that it's portraying. And also with Mandarin, it's not that difficult when you get into the grammar because there you don't really conjugate verbs and you just add verbs on to when you want to make the sentence a little bit more detailed. And that's why I like Mandarin. So that's my second favorite language. And finally, for my last favorite language, and you will probably know this if you know me in person, but it's ASO. Now, I love ASL a lot because I naturally use gestures a lot and I just love how different it is because all of the other languages I've learned, of course, are oral, like Portuguese, Mandarin, Japanese, and Russian, and all the other ones. But with ASL, it's completely different. And when I first started to learn it, it was so difficult for me because I wasn't used to it. And I love the way of expressing yourself, and I love the way that you can still add the tone of voice or your expressions. Like when you are signing something, you can you know use your expressions on your face or sign it in a certain way that will add basically what raising your tone or lowering your tone in oral languages would do. Also, you can make it really enthusiastic, which you can also do with your voice when it regards to certain signs. And you can do so many things, and I find it so interesting how they communicate. And it's really interesting to me, and I can't wait to teach you guys more as well. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below what are your favorite languages, and what languages are you studying this summer? Okay. Don't forget to subscribe, I'm really close to 300 subscribers, and share this video, give it a like, I really appreciate it, and also follow me on Instagram at learningwithmarcus. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching again, and until next time, I'm Marcus from Learning With Marcus.